Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Bones of Faith Lack a Little Meat of Works. Our scripture is James chapter 2. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, Goodbye, have a good day, stay warm, eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it's dead and useless. Now some may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. You say you have faith, for you believe there is one God. Good for you. Even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. How foolish! Can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was shown to be right with God by his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see, his faith and his actions worked together. His actions made his faith complete. And so it happened just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God, and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. So you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do, not by faith alone. Rahab, the prostitute, is another example. She was shown to be right with God by her actions when she hid those messengers and sent them safely away by a different road. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. October 31st each year sets up a dichotomy of directions. On one hand, there is Halloween, the witches brew, goblins, and scary movies. The other is Reformation Day, a celebration of Martin Luther's nailing the 95 Theses of Faith to the church door at Wittenberg, Germany, in 1517, which led to the Protestant break with the Catholic Church. Luther's rallying cry was, Faith Alone! A strong agreement with Paul the Apostle that we are saved by faith, not our works. A seeming contradiction is Apostle James' need for works to validate our faith. Which is right? Short answer, both. It just depends on whom you ask. Paul's admonition about faith alone was intended for Jewish years where faith was all about doing, keeping the law, paying tithes, unending lists of do's and don'ts. Paul's theme was to beef up the heart, put some pulse back in the faith arteries. James, however, was speaking to a different group, people who preferred to sit in a puddle of faith while the suffering of humanity made a detour around their do-nothing cesspool. Resting in faith alone was a prophylactic against doing anything worthwhile or strenuous. It was using God's cross as an excuse for lazy Christianity. The result of the debate is that both Paul and James were spot on. They were the two ends of a full-throated salvation argument. To settle in either our good deeds or our good faith is death. Without faith, we can do nothing holy. Without good deeds, our so-called faith is either a sham or a self-delusion. Genuine faith is always evidenced in good works, and godly works will always point people to the cross. For you today, there's a good reason God kept Paul and James in the New Testament. There are those of us who need to develop a little meat of works to flesh out our bones of faith, as well as those whose works without end need a fresh wind of faith to put some backbone of conviction in what we do. If you're more prone to one side than the other, I suggest checking out the other. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.